we're going to take a look at how to put a slideshow into a Google Earth placemark, which I think has a lot of different applications. Uh, what we're going to look at is photos taken from the same perspective uh, at different times. In the example we'll be looking at following the fires in uh, New Mexico of 2011. Uh, but it also could be looking at seasonal changes or um, uh, changes in the environment made by human activity, whatever that might be. So let's uh, let's go off to New Mexico, and I'm going to use this because I know the, uh, the sequence that I'm interested in placing in here is close to where we took this picture. So I'm just going to zoom on in. I've already created a Picasso album with the photos in it. And we'll take a look at that in just a second. So here is the dirt road we want to go on. And this uh, we can also see that this picture, by looking at the historical imagery, um, it shows today's date. And I want to go back to the date of the image, uh, which was May 4th of 2012. So we are, <coughs> we, uh, we zoom in, you can see there's some fire fire damage here, and I think this is where the photo was taken, though I'm going to double check on that. The uh, actual thing might show up at a different time. I'm going to close that out. I'm going to zoom on in to ground level view. And look down the fire damaged road. And now we'll flip over to the Picasso photo album. You can see these are all taken at about the same perspective. It's really great if they can be taken at the exact same one. I have not yet shared this. I'm going to click share, make it public. Share. And then link to this album. And you can see there's an embed slideshow option. I am going to go for the extra large. I copy that and I go back over to Google Earth. I put in a new placemark. I'm going to title it Via Caldera Fire Sequence 2. I've already created a different one of these. I'm going to plug that in. I am going to swing this a little bit to look up the road more. Click to view. Snapshot current view so that the sets it up in the same way. Go back to description. I've already pasted that in. Click OK. Now when I click on this, I get the slideshow. And that's all there is to it.